Hello and welcome back. Well, you may have seen the news that being a cat on a Zoom or Google Meet call is the thing for you. Well, how have people done it? Well, it's all over the news, isn't it? Here we've got the BBC in the UK. Um, and it says, viral, I'm not a cat, filter is decades old software. And it was installed or pre-installed, it would seem, on some Dell laptops. And the particular lawyer in question has got stuck with this cat filter, um, effectively interfering with um, the video feed on his Zoom call. This led to an awful lot of questions on why a cat avatar couldn't be removed from um, his Zoom call. And more importantly, how could other people make themselves be a cat? Well, there's a few ways of doing it. One of the easiest ways of doing this, if you can install software on your PC, i.e. some enterprises don't allow you to do that, is go along to snapcamera.snapchat.com. This is affiliated to Snapchat. There you go. And it is an official site. So hopefully no virus is there. But this is the Snap Camera official site. So I would say more than likely there isn't any. But use your own antivirus software. As you can see here, it provides you filters that sits in between your camera and your meeting product of choice. Whether that be Google Meet, whether that be Cisco, Microsoft Teams, whatever. So... What do you do? Well, first off, you click on download. Once you've clicked on download, it gives you some brief system requirements. And people who have seen some videos on my channel have said, hey, well, I can't get it working. And they're using an old laptop. There is a minimum hardware requirement of this. Windows 10 64-bit or newer or Mac OS 10.13 or newer. Uh, the hardware minimum requirements is an Intel Core i3 or AMD FX 2600. For me, really, it all comes down as well to the graphics card as well. I'm running um, a GFX 1070 on mine. I don't get any problems. Go all the way down, look at the Snap Camera License Agreement, which I would encourage you to have a look at. If you're happy with it, Make sure you don't contravene any of your work standards of business conduct by installing software onto your PC. If it's your own PC, well, it's up to you. Click, I have read the agreement. You haven't got to put an email in, but if you want updates, you can put it in there. Select that you're not a robot and say install, download for either PC or Mac. Then give you the Snapcam interface and you can put different filters in, in here as you wish. Um, quite a few working from home ones, which you'll be familiar with if you've got Zoom and also Google Meet and also Microsoft Teams for that matter. Um, you can select any of these to apply different filters. Perhaps you might want to have a cat sat on your head. Um, go all Rambo style with a tie on your head. Um, go into the main screen, you can see a list of community filters that have been built and there are some quite humorous ones as well. I've got some favourites in there little bit of Boba Fett. You've got the helmet, tracks your head very nicely. Or you could be a cow. Or even a pineapple. The quintessential potato that everyone used to see. Carrots. Vikings. The list is actually endless. I think this is one of the best ones, personally. But it seems to be all about cats. So here we are as a cat. Now, how do we get this feed into something like Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, a Cisco WebEx, or Zoom? Well, it's quite simple if you've got the good hardware for it. So what you do is, is you select your, your choice. So we're going to go with, say, the Viking, which I think is great. Settings. At the top, you can see the little cog. That brings up this screen. Make sure your camera your laptop or PC webcam is here. Now, mine's a Microsoft um, virtual camera. You can see I've got some other ones um, installed as well. Select Microsoft Live Camera. Okay. And then click on Back. Once you're in this position and you can see yourself working on the screen, next, minimize this and go into your program of choice. Now you can see I've got my filter all set up. In Google Meet, for example, if you select the three ellipses at the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click those, 
and you can go down to settings and then from settings you click on video make sure the camera feed is set up for snap camera there'll be a drop down list of whatever ones you've got on there you can see I've got a few Streamlabs OBS face rig all that sort of thing click on snap camera okay and there you are it'll come in straight off the bat so that's Google Meet now here I am in my zoom interface as well we're going to try and hit all of the major video conferencing tools so I'm going to click on new meeting there we are and using my computer audio everything's great you can see my video is actually running here but there's no picture displayed clicking on the up arrow into video settings or you can select a camera on the list right nice quick list if you click on snap camera you can see there i am now also you can see i've got a green screen on as well so we can choose a virtual background um we can take off the green screen we can put something on i don't know video I have a green screen I don't have a green screen you can put a picture on see a little bit of C3PO uh, a bit of X-Wing fighter or you can do the weather or if you want to see you can just have a normal background once you've done all this how do you not get caught by this tech like this Texas lawyer did when he goes to do some serious work um, and take all this off and return it to your normal video feed well okay in zoom what we do we could typically go to the top and select microsoft live camera go down to your snap camera select on settings make sure that's done all right microsoft live camera make sure everything's done there you could close the software down and there you go once it's closed down the feed link is interrupted and your face will return to the screen. It's all about the video feed and making sure you've got your video feeds right and making sure it's set to your camera and not snap camera or something else. Um, you may run into problems. If you do run into problems doing this, my advice is basically stop all video. A picture is better than humiliating yourself as something funny in front of the wrong audience. Because that really does, these day and age, you know, I mean, it really does make things look utterly ridiculous in regards to google meet it's very similar maybe having some fun with some friends on a call or your classmates outside of class or working hours then you've got a meeting you've got a, a class to attend how do you get your face back and maintain your dignity quite simply down to the three ellipses bottoms at the bottom do it all in reverse into settings into video change snap camera back to your camera of choice for example mine's the Microsoft live cam select this select end you may need with this to stop your video and then start it up again and then you can also close down snap cam and I have been returned back in my busy work area and my dignity such as it is has been restored so that's how you put a filter on become a cat become a pineapple become a viking put additional filters in zoom um, and in google meet that's how you do it in google meet as well and also more importantly how you get it off all right and you return your webcam feed to normal it's all about those camera settings thanks very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to become a cat a viking or other comedy character in your fun meetings but be careful when putting it on your work pc or other things that you're going to need to use in a more how would i say serious basis try and maintain your dignity any problems put some comments in the chat we'll try and answer your questions we answer all questions as it is anyway keep it nice and clean like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you soon.